folks, but young the Kuga in the building, I'll take the muzzle out of my face. All right, I have a message for the Christianity practicing church, supposedly the body of Christ. You see, the COVID-19 debacle made a very bold statement to um, those who profess Jesus. Concerning the agenda of the church, it's become very clear that the world who we are or really originally sent to make disciples of King Jesus, the world had given us a verdict. They said it from the first world nations to the third world nation, one of the villages in the third world nation. They said that we are people who render non-essential services. Non-essential services. Non-essential means services that are not important. They are not vital. They are of no consequence. Non-essential services. What an insult. Now, permit me to tell you something that should... Um, challenge you. I'm trying to challenge you. If you return back to your churches and continue the same activities that have been um, defined as non-essential, what does it mean? It means you don't you you actually don't know what you are doing. It means you don't believe the kingdom. You don't believe the gospel. It means you are just, you are fooling yourself. That's exactly what it means. If the salt loses its taste, it becomes good for nothing. It becomes good for nothing. It is thrown out of the window and trodden under the foot of men. My God. There is no better explanation that captures the identification that the Christianity practicing church has taken among the nations whom she supposedly is sent to win for King Jesus. There's no better definition. There's no better way to say um, um, somebody's of no use than to say the person is a, is a renderer of non-essential services. People of God, that thing is enough for to get us repentant. It's enough to get us to change the way we have been taught to think. It's enough to get us to realize ourselves like the prodigal son. It's enough to get us to go back to our God. We need to go back to our God. This needs repentance that God is calling for. Repentance. God is still calling for repentance and it's so sweet to see God's people repent. Like the prodigal son, we need to just go back to God like people that don't know anything. we we'll go back to him and ask him, what does he want us to do again? We need to review ourselves. We need to review our mandates. We need to change that perception that the world have. You see this world? The world has a perception on, on, on us that whatever we are doing does not impact it. Whatever we are doing does not change this world. It is the world that changes us. The world has won a mask on us, and all of us has won the mask with the world. We are just an ordinary people. We just put Jesus in our name. That's what it means. And the fact that we are going on with the Christianity crap, it means we don't really understand Christ. It means we don't know the gospel. It means we never had an encounter. We are not witnesses. We are just the people that are practicing religion, like every other world religion. This is exactly the call that we're making, and we're beginning to sound like a broken record making it. The time to repent is now. If my people who are called by my name, if they humble themselves and seek my face, if they pray and turn from their wicked ways, who are they? They are my people. They have been called by my name. What are they doing? They are in wicked ways. Why is it wickedly? They are in walking iniquity. 
We are doing what the Lord didn't send us to do. The Lord did not send us to register our churches, we did. The Lord did not send us to be divided in denominations, we did. The Lord did not send us to become apostles of prosperity. Our apostles have gone, our church owners have gone, they have, they have become. Obviously, the devil has, only got, has gotten us in a safe place and by our enterprise is conditioning the world. It appears we are working for this, we are Caesar. We are working for the devil, practicing that religion that has been categorized under the category of non-essential service. If they turn from their wicked ways, it's only on that ground that God will hear from heaven. When he hears from heaven, he will forgive our sins and he will heal our land. People of God, this government that is bamboozling the church up and down with karma and shut down and open, we have been sent to condition them. We have been sent to imprint the gospel, which is God's interpretation of government, upon the nations, their governments, their religious authorities, their political authorities, their traditional authorities. We are supposed to condition our cities in the interpretation of government that King Jesus sent us to communicate to the nations. This is the agenda of the church, but we can't do that inside Christianity. We can't do that because first food first, we have submitted to the system. The day we realized that it's them that defines who we are as church in their eyes, we fell. So it is important for us to remember from whence we are falling. We must remember from whence we are falling because we are in a realm before. We now became a physical agency. We were a realm before, registered in heaven. We now became a physical business registered by government. We must realize from whence we are falling because it's the world that defines us now. We must realize from whence we are falling. We must repent and go back to our first works. What is the first works? The same agenda that took out the apostles of the early church. It's the agenda to make Jesus Christ supreme authority in the nation. It's the agenda to give these children a good future. Look at these children. They, they deserve a good future. They deserve a good future. It's our demand to see that righteousness will exalt our nations, our respective nations. So, and I'm not speaking for a denomination. I'm speaking for the church in this country. The church in respective nations. Because the nation of Ghana must pick up from where, from what we are saying. It's a conversation we must start talking about. The church is sent to promote the government of King Jesus Christ. Jesus is king already. We are not deferring it. And this is the, the works that we are going back to. We must return to our first works. Repent and return to your first works. So that we can repair the city. So that we can raise up the former desolations. So that we can rebuild the desolations of many generations. So that we can break the back of corruption. We can repair our nation. We can change the narrative. It's a narrative now that has become a mess. If we can change it. We can change it when we repent and return to our first works. My name is Odion Ipuga. Till I see you again. Shalom. Everything that can be shaken Once again I'm gonna break everything that can be broken Once again I'm gonna shake everything that can be shaken Once again I'm gonna break everything that can be broken Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready?